Hello everyone and welcome to the next part of this DLC playthrough. Um, this could very well be the last part of uh, this playthrough series because I feel like we're getting... I mean, if this isn't the last one, then definitely the next one will be because I feel like we're almost done here. We just have... Uh, looking back at our quests, we have the uh, Reformation, which is give Martin's tapes to Dima. And then uh, these other ones are kind of just the the other options we have of how to end the DLC. And you know, we got the other uh, side uh, quests over here, which I mean, we can always do those, but that's not really what people want to see. Not when uh, we have a main let's play, uh, not, not a let's play, I, I keep wanting to say that, a playthrough and let's play, keep getting them almost mixed up every time. Um, a playthrough video, you know, we want to see the main story, not the side quest, because that would uh, take forever. That's like a whole other separate video in itself. So we are now going to, now that everything has been set up over at the Nucleus, we're going to go talk to Dima and get uh, the corrected tape for from him so that... Oh. Why do you even call me Nick? Didn't you know me before the personality imprint? We didn't have names inside the Institute. And after the personality experiments started, the only name you ever called yourself was Nick Valentine. If there's another name you'd prefer, I'd be happy to... No? Oh, I, I like the name. When you wear something for a long time, it kind of seeps into you, you know? Of course. Well, all right then. Anyway, like I was saying, we are going to get the Your altered... are complete. Tape Are you from ready to confront Tectus? from Dima to give to Tectus so that he'll freak out and then I can lure him away and possibly take him out. Uh, I am ready. I'm ready. Then I won't oh, keep. Forgot. I am still wearing the hazmat suit. Here, the tape. The fate of this island rests in our works. All right. Convince the High Confessor to meet with us. So, I'm gonna head out and make that our active quest. And go do that. It's crazy to think we're almost at the end here. I mean, honestly, I don't know about, uh, you know, I'm sure watching these on YouTube, especially if you watch a bunch in a row, doesn't seem like that long. But for me, um, you know, it's, it's felt a lot longer just because I, don't, I think I've been, you know, editing and working on these. I've been looking at the clips a lot more than everyone else. And uh, I don't know. I feel, like I feel like I've been playing this DLC almost as long as I've been playing the actual whole real game. Which is interesting. I've never felt that about a game before or a video I did. This right here is a gun, the Gamma Gun. I have not ever shot one. I think I have one or maybe two. They're pretty rare, I think. I, I know the, uh, the people at the Nucleus like to use them a lot. I have never even shot one though, but I, I've seen them around a couple times. It, this DLC, I've seen them a lot more, but before it came out, I have only seen like maybe three tops. And I know I have one. I think I have, might even have a legendary one, but yeah, I've just never used it because it's only good against people, and I'm hardly ever fighting at just people. So it's either ghouls or anything else, which the radiation gun does not help with. So I'm going to put my armor back on here. Except I'm in the wrong tab. There we are. Alright, I think that's... Oh, last one. Whoop. Alright. Come on, Nick. Oh, I will. More loading screens. Man. I wish it really loaded you inside the nucleus, because it's like, no, I'm not fast traveling there to, to go outside. I want to be inside. Save us a lot of loading time. Alright, so... Oh, uh, this way. Gotta go talk to Tectus here. Is that a little window? I think it is. Tectus, Tectus. Every time I hear his name, I think of Tetris. I've almost actually... There's been a couple times in the other previous videos where I almost accidentally said Tetris. Which Hi, would have been very embarrassing. Greetings, my child. You know you've set quite the example here. True devotion to 
faith and family. Now, how may I serve? Um, I recovered a holotape. Confessor Martin is planning to come back and take over. We should come up with a plan, but, but not here. The command center tunnels should be far enough away from the rest of the children. Martin, it can't. Play it. I want to hear that coward's voice. All right, let's, uh, guess I gotta go in here. Find it. Uh, no, it'll be inventory and then miscellaneous, I think. It's called Martin's something, so it should be under M. Well, ah, no. Okay, good. I don't have to start over again. I hate. There's so much stuff. I wish you, there was like a search option, or you could skip to different letters. Um. Oh, here it is. Listen, children. Tectus time is over. The nucleus must prepare for a new order. Mine. I can't believe it. He's alive. None of the other children can know about this. The command center, you said? Yes. I'll ensure we aren't disturbed. Good. Excellent. Excellent. Mwahaha. Alright. Just gotta get there. Command center, command center. I think that, that should be the door up top, like way up there. Yep, looks like it. Just jog back on over yeah, here. Whoa, careful there. Before I do some Spider Man shit and just. Oh god! Ah! That, uh, that didn't happen to Spider Man. Well, that was embarrassing. There was an edge there, but uh, I guess. It's just for show, because when I tried jumping on it, I just fell right through it, and fell to my death. And now we have to sit through another loading screen because of my, uh, my stupidity. My failure to, uh, at least we're right here. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna jog there this time. I'm not gonna try and be all fancy and the high confessors were. be jumping around the rooftops. Seems to be a little bit more dangerous than I originally expected, especially when there's a giant pit underneath you. And the floor gives out. You're supposed to be able to jump on a little edge, like, right there, and it misses, and you fall. Anyway, I'm not too butthurt about it. I swear. But yeah, so I think after this we should be done, though. Um, because, I mean, if we take out Tectus, then, I mean, what else is there to do? He's not going to attack anybody. I mean, Far Harbor is kind of just cool, chilling on their own. Um, Alright, next here. So, uh, let's see, is it... Uh, oh, it's not... Oh, I remember this door. I remember I went down here for the first time and checked and there was nothing down here. I totally remember this room. I knew there had to be a reason for this room. Ah, oh, makes sense now. It all is coming Child, together. Show yourself. I am here. Ah, there you are. Now, Martin, tell me what you found. Um. And you're sure you weren't followed? You needn't worry. Martin has no ears down here. Now, what can you tell me? Hmm. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm gonna take the, uh... The non... The... Uh, I'm gonna go with uh, some Mass Effect terminology here and go renegade on him real quick. For once, instead of trying to be the good guy, I'm going to say, attack him. Dima sends his regards. Dima! You traitorous! No Huzzah! Holy crap! Pounding for a green suntan, I suggest we get a move on. <laughs> Dang, that did a lot of radiation damage. Oh, you know what's funny? I just realized. 
if I had kept wearing the radiation suit, I probably wouldn't have gotten any damage from that. Long gamma gun. Huh, he's actually in pretty good shape for a guy who lives in radiation all the time and doesn't seem to do anything. Hey. Dang, I still here. love that hammer. That thing looks sick. Here's what I've got. Alright, just give you this crap here. And I think he took his gun too. Long game of gun. Which is funny because it still looks short. And uh Looks like we gotta move him over there. You weren't such a dick, Tectus. None of this would have happened. This is your own fault. No one to blame but yourself. Just gonna stuff your skeleton in the closet here. Pretend nothing ever happened. Hide evidence. Oh, perfect. Wow. Oh, yeah, no one's ever gonna find that body there. Alright. That worked out great. Here. All right, cool. I guess we can leave. Hopefully, there's uh, hope there's nobody waiting at the end and was like, aha, or where's uh, where's Tactus? I saw him go in here, and now he, I don't see him. He's gone. Where is he? What have you done, you bastard? That would be very unfortunate because it's usually, it's usually never this easy. Like something always happens to go wrong, or you know, somebody sees something, or somebody's suspicious. I guess we'll find out in a second here, though, if anything else is going to happen. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, you know what? I just realized I was always wondering what these were. I thought they were, like, irradiated urine bottles or something like that. I mean, I know those are light bulbs. They're not real bottles, but they're full of glowing something and I always thought it might have been like urine or something from these guys but I just realized it's the stuff at the bottom of this big dry dock it all makes sense now everything makes sense now I'm actually really relieved it's not what I thought it was because that would have been nasty but let's get out of here without further ado now that the deed has been done seems like we got away clean we can go back to Dima and tell him all has gone according to plan. I wish I had like just tons and tons of resources uh, at my settlements and then I would build a ton of robots for all of them. Just like robot security everywhere, patrolling 24-7, but they're so expensive to make. Everything's cool, bro. You don't need to go check the command center or anything. Just uh, let me, ooh, I'll level up here real quick. Keep forgetting I have that. Let's see, what should I do? Gun nut. Don't need this. Hacking's pretty easy, honestly, especially at this level. Get more from salvaging. Like, more what? I am going to go with, I'm going to go with gun nut. Pow. All right. Oops, not, don't want to go back that far. Too far. Alright, um, let's go to map here. And back to Acadia. Not to be confused with Arcadia. Whoa, what was that? That was weird. Bunch of random static on the screen. That was weird. I've never seen that before. I'm glad my game didn't crash or anything, though. That would have sucked really bad, because then I would have had to try and mend this video together by PC. I don't know if I would have had to restart the whole thing somehow, or, uh... Oh, I apparently have to help defend Oberlin Station. But yeah, that would have been really bad if, like, the whole game had crashed right there, or anything else. Dima, you come... I mean, <laughs> not Dima, damn it. Nick! Alright. He, he'll, he'll come later, he's fine. He's, he's on his own. He's enjoying his smoke break. Alrighty. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Pull Matthew McConaughey. Alright, alright, alright. If we could just load. 
I'm sorry if I just am annoying the hell out of anybody right now when during the loading screens. I just, I don't know, I get stupid. It sounds like quite the experience, but I'm glad to know there will be peace on the island again. Atom's vision was clear on the matter. I... I must thank you again for sheltering me while under its sway. Think nothing of it. You're welcome to stay as long as you like. You are too kind, Eva. I should only need just a little more fresh air. What do you think of Acadia? Well, living in a scientific observatory wouldn't exactly be high on my list of comfortable spots. Hey. Over here. Finally, I can hear him. Mind. We can be the example in the face of adversity. I'm not looking to be anyone's example. Nick, what the hell are you doing? Fucking stand still, you okay. stupid asshole. I'm trying to fucking... Move no here. one's going to be able to understand. I can't even understand you, and I have a freaking surround sound headset on you. And you're done. Whatever. Dima. He annoys the shit out of me. You heard the news? The High Confessor is out of vision. Atom demands peace. Can I assume you're here to tell me your task is done? That it is. It's been dealt with, yes. Excellent. I'm starting to envy Dima. This whole situation makes me wish I could erase my memories too. Peace can finally come to the island. It's a heavy burden what we've done. But now the Nucleus, Far Harbor, and Acadia will all flourish. Together. I, I'd, say, I'd say we did the right thing. It was the right thing to do. It was necessary. Hope for a better future. That will be the judge of our actions. I'll handle things from here. I'll arrange talks between the children of Adam and Far Harbor. They will learn to prosper together under our guidance. The children will revel in their irradiated bastion. The harbor men will continue to survive and reclaim what the fog has taken from them. And my people will remain safe. It sounds like everyone wins. For all you've done. You should also pay a visit to the Nucleus. I believe the High Confessor will want a word with you. And of course, 1500, you are welcome right. in Acadia whenever you like. After all, where would we be without you? Oh, you've received the Protector of Acadia perk. When severely damaged, there's a chance you'll receive a massive, ah, a massive but temporary bonus to damage and energy resistance. Sounds good. All right. Uh, I have a quest. Oh, another level up. All right. That was fast. All right. Now we can. Uh, what's that other one? Oh. Yeah, I'll do this. Scrapper. I'm always looking for parts. Build cool stuff. Some stuff. Alright. I'm gonna go talk. I think Kasumi's down here somewhere. I think. I assume you're not playing. Let me just make sure that's still is that yeah, here it is. Okay, cool. I wonder what's that one out the door? What is that? Oh, it's the help defend over the station. I'll do that later. Actually, I'll switch to speak to the High Confessor because I do want to do that before I something? go. Another level up? Oh my god. It's just like three levels in like two minutes. So, it sounds like there's going to be peace on the island. It was you, wasn't it? You found a way to fix things. It was the right thing to do. I can't believe people like you actually exist. Part of the reason I didn't trust Dima was because he seemed too selfless. But you're just like him. Hey, listen. So, when you first showed up, you came to get me. To bring me home. I've been thinking a lot about that. I hurt Kenji and Ray by leaving, didn't I? I could have just stayed home, pretended everything was alright, but... 
I left them. Should I go back? They obviously still care about me. Or who they think I am. They need a daughter. They deserve to have one. Everything in Acadia has been settled. I found my answers. Maybe it's time I did something for someone else. I'd say they need you. You're right, Kasumi. They need you. Go home. I will. I'll start gathering my supplies and... I'll have to say goodbye to everyone. Thanks. For... everything. Maybe I'll... see you back in the Commonwealth? Uh, yeah. Oh, I can guarantee it now because I have to talk to your dad. And uh, actually, that'll be interesting because if I bring Nick with me, I wonder what they'll say because he was never even involved in the first half until I went and got him. Anything good in here? No, I've already been in here. I thought this was the staircase out of here, but I am incorrect. That would be right here. Alright, so before we head back to the... Not, nope. Before we head back to the Commonwealth, I am going to swing by the Nucleus and see what the High Confessor wants to tell me or do or whatever it says he wants to speak with me, so we're going to go find out what he wants to speak to me about. Hopefully it's something good and he doesn't, you know, turn around and go, you are blasphemy, blah blah blah, die, and then I end up killing him. Although, I don't think that would really happen because, uh, I mean, I... I just kind of did the peaceful ending option, and that kind of seems like it would be against that. But I guess we'll find out in a few minutes here. <sighs> After a few more loading screens... Whoa, I actually don't think I've ever seen that character model on a loading screen before. For the Rad Scorpion? I'm pretty sure it's my first time ever seeing it. it looks really cool. I wish uh, they had more kind of freeze frame loading screens like this of monsters that are huge like that that you rarely ever see standing still because I like being able to take a good look at them for once instead of being chased by them running for my life shooting at it peace what it's hard to believe I know but you guys are actually gonna have to just sit still and stop messing with everybody you're not that cool your shit does stink Gather, brothers and sisters. Oh, Given speech. Gather to hear his word. Hip boy doesn't sound pleased. Say we get out of here. Do we get a better view? Like all the rest of these people? Peace. In the throes of a brilliant vision, he spoke, and now I obey. Atom demands peace. With Far Harbor, with Acadia, within our family. And any found disobeying Atom's word will answer for their crimes. Let none stand in the way of his radiant will. Glory to Atom! Glory to Atom! Give no respite to those who would hmm. harm our family. All right. And I still have to talk to him, so let's run back this way and go up behind him. Get up on that sub. Uh, hey, hi, Confessor. Wait. Oh. No. I missed him. Wow, he got down at here pretty quick. Hi, Hi Confessor. Confessor. You. Oh, that's what he said. I knew it. I uh -oh. knew it was you. What? In my vision. There, oh. beside our brilliant master. Whew, he scared here, me for a second. You must have this. It, it only seems right it's worn by his favored child. That's cool. Adam's bulwark, damage resistance, and energy resistance increased increase with rads. Okay, okay, okay. 
That, he scared me for a second at first. He was like, I knew it was you. You. Heads up. I thought he was waiting I'm for. Listening. I was waiting for him to say, You killed me. Dude, Nick, stop walking what around. Oh my god. It annoys the crap out of me. Why can't he just sit still for five seconds? I'm not chasing him around trying to talk to him, and then he walks out of range. Sorry, I'm just, you know, I get a little worked up because I have to constantly deal with his crap. Alright, um, cool. Got a legendary piece of armor. For sure, there's no other quest objectives around, so we can dip on out and go back to the Commonwealth. I think we ought to talk. Oh, God. About what? Is something the matter? You sound upset. What? Oh, no, no. We've just been traveling for a while now. And I figured, especially after all that stuff with Dima, that you deserve to know more about me. So, is there anything you want to know? Um, not really. I mean, I guess I'll ask who, who are you? So, so who are you, Nick? That's a question I've been trying to figure out myself for a long damn time. I know I'm a synth. Authentic Institute handiwork. But I'm still mechanical, not bioengineered like the fancy synths giving everyone the willies these days. I get tune-ups now instead of checkups. You remember when Dima was talking about the Institute's personality experiments? My memories, my personality. They're all lifted from some cop who volunteered for an experiment back before the war. They scanned his brain and copied it onto the hardware that runs between my ears. I don't know why they chose to make a robot based on some pre-war cop instead of a math genius or a bioengineer. But hey, maybe that's why the Institute tossed me in the garbage instead of turning me into one of their people snatchers. Hmm. Guess that is. Yeah, <laughs> I love that. <laughs> You're a robot? <laughs> You know what? Uh, I think I'm gonna go for it. Wait, you're a robot? What else have you been keeping from me? Ah, well, I'm not sure if anyone told you, but there's been a war. Nothing big. I think we'll bounce back just fine. Hmm, <laughs> that's a good one. That's terrible. They really just threw you away? Sure did. It was quite the rude awakening. I remember waking up one day in a garbage heap. A body in tatters and a head full of memories belonging to a man who'd been dead for 200 years. Come to think of it, that was probably just after Dima and I had fought. It was a confusing couple of weeks all around. Folks didn't really know much about synths back then. So when I finally ran into people, they mostly treated me with caution rather than hostility. But the kids, they weren't afraid. I think his name was Jim first person to actually speak to me after I got the boot from the Institute. My first human contact in this world grilled me for an hour. Once they'd seen I wasn't going to hurt anyone, the other folks in the neighborhood came out to ogle the mechanical man. It eventually turned into a pretty swell soiree. Local mechanic even gave me a once-over, free of charge. Those people, they treated me like a human being been trying to return the favor ever since. It's a surprisingly rare trait out here sometimes. Something I've noticed you've got a fondness for. Part of the reason I've stuck around this long. If you're good to people, they'll be good back. That's something I've always believed. Couldn't agree more. Well, I expect you're about as bored as can be listening to me rattle my skeletons. You should probably head out. Hmm. <laughs> That is, uh, I mean, that was a long conversation right there, but, uh, that was interesting to learn about him. About where his personality came from and everything like that. I'm glad I stuck, stuck around for that conversation. Not stuck. Go. Just more loading screens. One little dock anyway. Let Far Harbor have it. There you go, that's the spirit. Just let them have it. Screw them. Alright, so we are going to go back to the Commonwealth, but we're not going to go through Far Harbor. I'm just going to go there. I still like these. Man, 
Like, just think a robot army like this would be awesome. If you could have, like, three followers that all look like this at one time. Oh, man. That would be it. It'd be end game content right there. It's all you need. The sentry bots, though, like, look like that are sick. I have one. His name is, I named him Rook, and he just, he's just straight up badass. Come on in, Nick. Look alive. Oh Go God. check that out. My baby is okay. Back home. Good to be home. You saved my daughter. Thank you. You are welcome. <laughs> and and now I get paid. You don't often see kindness in the Commonwealth. I will never forget this. If any of you ever need help again. You know where to find us. Kasumi, does this mean you know we're your parents, right? You're not a synth. I know, Mom. I'm sorry. I was just... <laughs> Everyone's really shiny. I wanted to go somewhere. Anywhere. It's okay, Kasumi. You're home now. Listen to Kasumi next time, Kenji. Don't just try to keep her you safe. You don't listen. She gonna run away. Talk to her. I know. I will. I was holding on so tightly, I almost lost her. There's one last thing you and I need to discuss. Your reward for bringing my daughter home safely. We don't have much to offer, but my father traveled the Commonwealth. He had quite a collection before he died. I buried it all near the house. I'm not the explorer he was. I don't need them. I think they would be better with you. Hmm. Father's collection. What's in this collection? Things he picked up out at sea or trading at different towns he visited. I never really sat down and looked through it all. Thank you. Thank you, Kenji. You've earned it. You traveled far and back to get me answers. Thank you again. You saved my family. We won't forget that. See you around, Kenji. Goodbye, Nick. Best of luck to you and your partner in the future. Right. Thank you for everything. No problem, Kasumi. Thank you so This is how much. it should be. Kasumi is home, and I'll make sure Kenji gives her some space to breathe. Ellie, who's Ellie? Oh, that's his assistant. It's a little stormy out here. Right, stash should be over here. Like a conveniently placed shovel. Let's dig it up. Oh, okay. It's a little bit bigger than I thought it would be. Enraging, powerful combat sniper rifle. Take. Can't get this other thing. Missiles 25. Wow. Automatic. It's probably assault rifle. Alright, let's just, yeah. Just limp it out. It's a little gloomy here. Oh man, I forgot you can't wait anymore. I was gonna try and wait. Make it a little Alive. bit more sunny and, uh. See what I can do. Take a look. You know, upbeat. Let's see here. Give. Ah, oh, what? Hmm, none of that stuff is super crazy, so I'm gonna put the gun back. Transfer. That should be, yeah. Alright, uh, here we are. I guess I'll talk to Nick. This line of work, we'll be done after this. Unexpected. Still, I've got to admit. Never had a cage quite like Kasumi's. It turned out to be quite an adventure. Yeah, a whole island trying to kill us. 
He is hoping the next case just takes us to some dingy bar. I could use a slow one. I'm glad things ended as well as they have. The Nakanos are a happy family again. As much as anyone around here can be. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll fast travel real quick. To Diamond City and see what Ellie wants. Wait a minute. Is that map marker? Oh, I haven't placed it, I don't think. She is down in Diamond City, correct? Yes. Mark it. Just fast travel on down here and see what she has to say about this whole adventure we just uh, finished embarking on. We went there, we came, we saw, we kicked some ass, we saw some new stuff, got some cool armor, and we're back. Got some trophies too. Try and put it up around my house and I'll try and remember not to store it in my workbench and destroy all of it and use it for raw crafting materials when it's something super rare that I want to keep. Then I end up ruining it all for like a light bulb or two or copper. Something dumb like that. Ooh, ouch. My bad. I kind of was on a boat trip. Could not really do much. Alright. Valentine Detective Agency. Hey, Ellie. You're back. I am. How did everything go with the Nakano case? <laughs> um... Take a guess. How do you think it went? Well, you were away for a long time, and... Don't take this the wrong way, but... You smell like the ocean. So I'm guessing you had to track someone down a long distance. By boat, maybe. Guess I was right about the missing person angle. And that's all I can tell. Come on, I'm not a psychic. Give me the details. All right. I tracked Kenji's daughter to a synth refuge up north near Far Harbor. She's back home, safe and sound. That's great. We don't often get to bring people good news. It's a nice change of pace. Thanks for coming in for this one. I knew something good was happening when you and Nick started working together. Don't be a stranger, Gumshoe. If I didn't know better, I'd say you're giving our friend here all the credit. Just keeping you on your toes, Nick. Hmm. Well, with that note, um, I don't think there's anything really left uh, to go do, at least main story quest wise. Um, oh, looks like it stopped raining. I got it. Yep, just uh, let's uh. Optional side quests. Oh, well, it's been fun, guys. Uh, I've run around Far Harbor. Looks like this is indeed going to be the last episode. Um, oh, by the way, just a quick note I just ran over that base. Uh, and it reminded me if you start here, standing on the home plate, and you run to the right all the way and touch the base number one, run over, touch base number two and number three, and run back all like at once, I guess. I don't know if there's a time limit, but uh, you'll get a home run perk. But anyway, guys, uh, it's been a lot of fun. And uh, if you, any of you have been watching all the way through all the episodes, I really appreciate it. You know, I don't do this very often. And uh, I do appreciate the views and that, uh, you know, you guys are taking the time to watch. So thanks a lot, and I will see you next time.